Hi Virgo, welcome to the first ever love reading for Virgo on my channel. I'm Gypsy from Gypsy Healing Company and we are doing a five card spread for your energy as well as the energy of the person that you are connecting with. Now love is a little tricky so it might not resonate with everyone. If that is the case, please reach out um, to me for a personal reading and we can dig into love aspects. Uh, personally. So first we're starting off with the theme and your current state of mind regarding love and that is the seven of swords. So you may have, you may be feeling as though love has been difficult for you to achieve, that people have been lying to you or taking advantage of you in some way. This theme might continue to cross your mind during January as you are relating to um, other individuals in your life. The past is definitely highlighted here, past experiences and uh, letdowns. Here we have the King of Swords for the person you're connecting with. And their theme, this as their theme, illustrates that they've been doing a lot of refining in their lives. They've been perhaps cold toward you and they've set very firm boundaries about what they do and what they don't want, which might not align with um, your idea of how things should have been or could have been. They are very focused on intellectual pursuits and perhaps not very concerned with love at this time perhaps not even realizing that you're feeling this way toward them or about the relationship in general. The next card we have out is the Three of Cups, and this is in your challenge position. So this month you might find it difficult to, um, to enjoy the way people are relating to you. This could also indicate that there's some sort of third party situation going on. Um, with the person you're connecting with where you're feeling kind of left out or you're feeling like there's too many people involved in this situation or there's other other people impacting your relationship okay perhaps this is in relation to this betrayal here for your person we have the four of swords they are they are taking a time out from everyone and everything. They have a lot of healing that needs to be done and a lot of introspection. They have a lot to think about in terms of um, what they want in their love life. So far, it doesn't seem as though love is on their radar at all with the um, sword energy here that's more intellectual pursuits and communication right now you might not be hearing a lot from the person that you seek to connect with and this is because they are recuperating they are regenerating they're recharging in a lot of senses following that we have the justice card in the unexpected position so you are unexpectedly and please forgive the light I don't know what's going on here um, unexpectedly you may be encountering a Libra this is the Libra card but more so you are feeling like you deserve more in this situation or you deserve more from the people you are associating with this is a card about balance and getting a just outcome, getting what you deserve. And I think you begin to realize that you do deserve more than all of this that you've been getting so far from this individual, from this perhaps even cycle with this individual that you are connecting with. Unexpectedly, they are going through a lot of change. Everything in their lives is being torn down in a lot of senses. Perhaps this is why they're spending so much time resting. Everything in their life is changing from career to um, where they're living, their housing situation. 
their thought patterns. There is a total revamp that's going on in, in this individual's life, which is most likely why it doesn't seem as though love is at the forefront of their mind. When their their home is on fire, when everything is um, being swept away, one of the last things you would think about is, is love. Okay, so perhaps this is why it's been so difficult for you to relate to them on this level and to get close to them in the way that you would like to. They are going through a momentous, monumental change um, in all aspects of their lives. Next for you, we have the Queen of Pentacles. This is your advice card. Um, this could also rep, oh, this, you're a Virgo. So again, this is an earth sign. This is you. Your advice this month is to, let's get some better light. Your advice this month is to spend more time loving yourself. This is a reminder of self-care. The Queen of Pentacles spends so much time loving and attending to other people that she often forgets to do the same for herself. And so this coming in your advice situation with love is to pour into yourself this month. Okay, you have to edify yourself and love yourself um, before anyone else can can do that for you. Spend time this month affirming yourself, doing the whole nine, the whole self-care gig that we all talk about and that you see often um, these days on social media. Like it's actually very effective and it, and it is a lot more than bubble baths, <laughs> although bubble baths might be nice. Um, spend some time really working on yourself and getting to the bottom of your own emotions and your own blocks to self-love. Your person's advice is to open their heart. So here you see this individual is being handed a cup and the cup's probably from you. You're trying to offer yourself to someone and they just aren't taking it. And that is definitely due to these tower moments and this healing that's going on here. So, what they're working on right now is learning to open their heart to receive the love that you are trying to give to them. Right now they are not open to it very clearly. They're not even, they're not even thinking about it. They're preoccupied. Um, so this is another reason why it's going to be so important for you to focus on yourself because this person is also focusing on their self, on themselves, okay, and doing this healing and integrating here. All right, so we have the Five of Pentacles, and this is a card of feeling left out, of feeling iced out, and perhaps this is how you're feeling about your love situation in general, that you are not being noticed or attended to, that your love is not being reciprocated, and if this is how you're feeling, then it's not for no reason. Again, if we're looking at what your person is going through, they are so preoccupied with their own radical change that's happening that they, they might not even realize you're feeling this way. So if you take this advice of pouring into yourself, you can alleviate some of this, um, this negativity. Um, and realize that you know your happiness is your own responsibility. It is not your partner's. And if you wait for this person to make you happy, you might be waiting a while. So this month, shift the focus to yourself and not so much on this love connection here. There's a lot going on um, that this person needs to figure out on their own before they are going to be able to welcome you and your advances. And we have the Page of Swords. So your person toward the end of the month as they are integrating all of this energy, they begin to be more receptive to you and your advances and your communication about a relationship. Um, but again, it's just the beginning here. Um, so 
things in terms of love seem to be moving a little slowly, perhaps slower than you would like. But again, with the tower moment happening in your partner's life, it's going to take some time for them to open up again and to be ready for the things that you feel like you're ready for. So make sure, again, that you realize that this is not necessarily even about you and the connection. This is about this person and the way that their life is being restructured right now. The numerology card that we have for the overall energy of the relationship is healing. So again, the person you're connecting with, definitely some deep healing going on. And the same for you. You've been through a lot, especially in the last six months or so. Um, and for some of you, even longer. And with this card coming out, it's letting me know that there are still some things within yourself that need to be healed before you are going, before you can experience um, the elevated sort of relationship that you seek. Yes, you can, you can go through this relationship with this person and you can, um, you can stand by their sides while they're going through all of this, but if you choose to do that, be sure that you are also working on yourself and that you're not waiting around on the other person to make everything better for you. This healing um, needs to happen here, right? You need There's some things for you to to examine and to, to transform from. And by spending this time in the Queen of Pentacles energy and pouring into yourself, you will show the universe that you are serious about wanting a love connection and by first loving yourself. I think that's one of the most important lessons that many signs are learning right now is that you have to come first. Okay? All right, Virgo. So let me know if this resonated with you, if it seems to echo anything that you're going through right now. And I will see you in another video. Bye.